back to uh, business as usual, practice, film, uh, preparation. Uh, excited to still be playing and obviously excited to be in the NCAA tournament. Um, we uh, we're trying to manage our guys, uh, their minds and bodies right now after three games in three days and really not much time off with the travel yesterday. So um, had a good workout this morning. Uh, we'll come back tonight and meet, and then uh, we'll leave tomorrow. Oh, we have we don't have a time yet of when we're leaving, right? Guesstimate one, two o'clock, right, John? Something like that. We're going down tomorrow. So. Um, Trying to move on from the two championships we won um, and focus on the next step. Um, any questions, I'll take them. I've never been a I told you so type person. My mom didn't raise me that way. I've never been, uh, you know, we just felt that we had to build this thing the right way. And the right way was, first of all, on accountability and ownership of our players, building a championship culture, but the schedule was a very big part of it. And I've explained that, uh, you know, a few times, but with recruiting, with toughening your team up, with preparing for your league, with getting people in the seats, with getting national exposure, uh, everything was premeditated on building this program back to what I want it to be, what Dr. Hill wants it to be, what we think it should be, where it, where it can go. And um, that's where it's all started from. And um, I think I told you souls are empty. So we'll move on from that. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a big part of it, handling the emotion. What I told my team is we've won championships and we've been in huge games all year. Um, and, and you guys know I put a lot of pressure on my team in every game and trying to reach our potential and play to the best of our ability and play for each other. So. You know, at Oklahoma was was pressure. Um, at Utah State is a tough game, guys. You know, we didn't have Dircha, and it's a tough it's a tough game. So, um, I go back to the schedule thing. We've been in, you know, UNLV here was a tough game. They had to win. We had to win. You had to protect your home floor. And then uh, TCU mentally was a tough game. Neutral floor team we had beaten twice. So. Um, you know, our guys, I think, are, are battle-hardened. Have they been in the NCAA tournament? No, but uh, the rim's the same height, the court's the same size, and uh, we've played in Florida already this year and won. And uh, so a little farther north from where we're at now, but um, so, and, and we have won, uh, you know, basically three championships this year. We won the Wilkes tournament, we won the league, and we won the conference tournament, so. I think we've put ourselves in those positions a few times. Their speed, their speed and quickness, um, their their basketball talent, and um, you know their ability to score points in bunches uh, really stuck out to me. And um, they uh, they pose some problems. They pose some problems. So uh, you know I think. We're happy to be a, a, a fifth seed. I think they're happy to be in the tournament. And um, I think you, now you throw the seeds out the window and you got to play the game. you got to play the game. And it's amazing. You know, you look at the bracket, who's playing who. You know, maybe besides 116 or 215, you say, holy smokes, that's a good game, right? Uh, Dayton, West Virginia, that's a good game, you know. Uh, and then you look at the NIT bracket and you look at the games in that. I mean, what a, what a deal for everybody, you know. So. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's just helped to understand, understand size, speed, and quickness because we know about those teams. So when you watch them on film, you kind of say, well, you know, you and, you know, V did this with them or they hung with this or they didn't do that or, God, they went by that guy or, you know, they go by Wink Adams or whatever it is, you know. Um, I think San Diego State played them too. I haven't watched that film yet, but um, – so you know you know how athletic they are, and then you see them against that athleticism and size, and so it's it's been good. We we had um, plenty of film on them. You know we tape almost every game played, 
and we had plenty of film on them. So, uh, and I'm sure they have film on us, you know. So, I think it's a concern for both teams. You know, they are not deep at the center position uh, with Hill, and uh, obviously we, we need Luke Neville in the game. So, I think it's a concern for both teams. Foul trouble, fouls. Um, figuring out how the game will be refereed in the first five minutes, I think, is very important. Um, the referees are under pressure, too. They're one and done. If they don't perform well, I think that puts a different skew on it. Their season's over if they don't advance, and um, you know, which is uh, part of it. So uh, I really, I talked to my guys about that in Vegas, really understanding the first five minutes of the game, how it's officiated, and you know, I love the San Diego State game because they let us play, and it was very physical. Uh, they let us bump and, and, and hip guys, and, you know, I love that. And that was good for us. So, you know, I, I really felt we were a three-bid league. I said that in the last week. Um, and, again, I, I think we would have been a three-bid league if San Diego State would have beat us. They get the automatic bid. I think we were in with our resume before we even got to the tournament. So, in an effect, we maybe knocked out San Diego State, which – hurt the league and didn't give us three teams, which is, believe it or not, I'm thankful for the championship, but a bummer for our league because, um, you know, I've said this before and maybe this is a arrogant statement, but all those teams, all those people that don't think we have a great league and don't come play these teams, come play us next year in the non-conference, play at San Diego State, play at BYU, play at New Mexico, um, play at Vegas, play at our place, come, come play us, and then we'll see where the see where it is. Well, what's fun about it for me is, is the, the separation, you know. Uh, I told my guys, not everybody's practicing today. You know, this is cool, man. You know, and, and I also think um, what's cool about it is you get to keep these guys together longer. We get to be together longer, and that's the only reason – that I got in the game and I got into coaching, you know, I never wanted to take my hand out of the huddle. I never wanted to not be a part of a team. And that's why I got into coaching out of fear. And I, you know, I tell my guys that that's, we're still together, man. And uh, the seniors, you're living to play another day. And I, I love that. I just love it. So, and the attention uh, my guys are getting, the recognition they're getting, they've earned it. They've done what they're supposed to do. I love that, and that we're building this program back, which is, again, why, why I came here, why Dr. Hill hired me, is to build this thing back, and that's really gratifying. It's emotional, you know, it really is. So, but I'll, I won't cry today because, again, Mike Lewis told me, I, told me I ran my mascara on Saturday, so <laughs> thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mike. There's something else, man. Everybody good? Else Th thanks a lot for being here.